3D Panda with Bamboo Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. I'm going to begin by creating the background with a glittery green acrylic and I'm just going to create a very thin overlay. Because this nail is going to have so much 3D on top of it, I want to make sure that this part stays thin because otherwise it's going to get really heavy and really thick. And because we are using glitter, I'm going to encapsulate the nail with a layer of clear acrylic as I did with the green. I want to keep this as thin as possible and I can file it, but the least amount of filing you have to do the better. So try and keep each layer really smooth and very thin. And while that is setting up, I'm going to make my bamboo stalk. So with bright green acrylic, I'm going to make a long skinny line and I'm doing this in small sections just building it up until I get it to be the right length and the right thickness. So I'm going to keep adding small amounts of acrylic until I have it to exactly how I want it. And this is very thin, so be very careful with it as well. And now I'm going to add three leaves on one end of my bamboo, bamboo stalk, two on one side and one on the other. With a darker green, I'm going to add three sections separating the bamboo stalk into its little joints. So I'm going to paint or place a bead, a tiny bead of the dark green and then swipe it off, place it, swipe, and so on and so forth. And then highlight it with a little bit of yellow acrylic. Now, while the stalk is setting, I'm going to file the nail tip because that should be ready and make it nice and smooth and very thin. So I've removed the dust and now I'm going to be adding my panda bear's head. So I'm going to start with a relatively large white oval or circle, I suppose. And you want to try and keep this really quite as big as, you know, you want it large almost all the way to out to either side, leaving a space above it so that you have room for his ears and then space below so that you have enough space for his body. So I'm going to add a band of black acrylic underneath and it's not going to be as wide as his head, but almost. And this is going to be for like his chest and his arms. And then I'm going to round out the bottom with a layer of white. And this is going to be for his bottom. With a smaller brush, I'm going to start adding the details with black. I'm going to add one ear that is over the white circle. And this is just going to be another circle, but in black this time. And then the second ear is going to be underneath the circle. So we're just not going to cover up any of that white. <laughs> Excuse me. We're just going to sort of make it look like the ear is behind his head. And then I'm going to add his back legs. So I'm going to start with adding just a little circle and then adding the leg next to it. Later on, I am going to thicken up the feet a bit so that they stick out further than the leg. But for right now, I'm just going to keep it almost in a tadpole shape. And then for the other leg, it is just a circle about the same size as the other foot. And the last thing we're going to do with the black acrylic at this point is going to be adding his eye patches. And so these are sort of a seed shape or a petal shape and they angle downwards. And I'm going to add one about in the center of the circle and then the other one off to the side. So it looks like his head is turned just a little bit. With white, I'm going to sculpt his snout. So with a thicker bead, um, a denser bead, I suppose, I'm going to be placing where his snout is going to go and then blending that up between his eyes. And then I'm going to create a little dent down the center for where his cheeks are split. And now that that bamboo stalk should be nice and set up, I'm going to remove it from the backing. And then with a little bit of clear acrylic, I'm going to glue it to his chest. I'm going to thicken the edge of my ears with a little bit of black acrylic just to give them a little bit more shape and dimension. And this is also going to help you place the light pink in his ears later on. And then I'm going to add his two arms with black and I'm going to make it so that his paws are looking like they're holding onto the bamboo stalk. So one paw is going to be holding it from the bottom and one is going to be holding it from the top, as you can see as I'm doing right now. And I'm just going to flip over this nail tip so it's a little easier for an angle, especially working around my video camera. So just um, add the two arms and then smooth those out towards his head like so. And then with 
a little bit more black acrylic. Like I mentioned, I'm going to be thickening up his paws a little bit, his back paws, and then adding his nose with a micro-sized bead of black acrylic, add some light pink in his ears, and then his paw pads. So one that's almost a V shape, and then five little polka dots that go up around the V. And it's an upside down V, probably should mention that. And then add white circles on his eye patches for his eyes. And those are in the top area of the eye patch. And then two pupils and a tiny little line down from his nose into that crevice. In the green background, I'm going to be covering that with a glossy gel sealer. And I'm also going to be covering up my bamboo stalk. So these are the areas I want to be shiny. And then the areas I want to be matte, which is going to be my panda, I only need to tap coat over the area that I used acrylic paint. So eyes, ears, and paws. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this fun little design. Uh, share any recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I would really love to see them, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!